Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. So in this video, we are going to check out a method custom ROM for our Samsung S3. So today we got a ROM called Nemesis or Superior OS for our Samsung S3. And this, this ROM is based on Android 9. So previously I've reviewed few other ROMs based on Android 9 and Android 6 and few other versions. So this one is quite working quite fine. Better than the ROM I have reviewed based on Android 9 for this device. This one is far better than that. So today we are going to check out this ROM and I have been using this ROM for maybe two or three weeks now, not really for daily drive and just uh, look around and like taking phone call and other things, how everything is going on. So there are a few things going on with this ROM. So today we are going to check out all those things. And as you can see here, the animation, boot animation is pretty nice on this ROM. And as a AMOLED panel, this does look pretty good. So going with the locket skin is Based on stock pure AOSP, so there is nothing going on crazy here. But we do have customization section and other things we can do. So let me let me like reduce the brightness a little bit so that. So as you can see here, the ROM is booted up, and we can swipe up to see our application and other things. Let's go first and check out the version and what we are getting with this ROM. So. As other ROMs, this one also takes time to load the setting. I don't really know why is that, but almost all the ROMs I have tried, they always like takes time to load the setting panel. I don't really know why is that. So as you can see here, Android version 9, Superior OS or Nemesis, whatever you can say. And the security patch level is June 5, 2019. Oh, it doesn't matter. And this one is actually based on as using Linux kernel. And that's all about the about phone here and this ROM is actually working on only in uh, with uh, like 3D version of Samsung S3 not the Snapdragon variant so if you have Snapdragon variant don't flush this ROM it will break your device so going with the other things we have we got a lot of things going on here settings panel like Wi-Fi Bluetooth and other things are working perfectly fine I have not faced any kind of issue with those kind of things and it might reboot sometime when you are using Wi-Fi, but not really like every time. Going with other things, like NFC also does work here, but I don't really have anything to test the NFC right now. But Bluetooth does work, I have tried that. And going with the superior settings, so you, you are getting a lot of things here. As you can see here, the like the buttons light on the soft buttons are not working on this ROM. I don't really know why is that and I haven't found any like uh, way to turn those lights on there is no setting for those things but one thing about this ROM is that although it is based on android 9 but it's, you are still getting like full steam gesture support so if you want that you can turn on from the buttons or the option like you can go to the navigation bar and you can turn on uh what it called like swipe gestures those things so as you can see i can swipe gestures and all those things are working perfectly fine you can like uh do all the things you do with uh, it is kind of uh, a little bit laggy but it is working perfectly fine and even if you have a samsung s3 the where your the soft buttons are not working it is kind of really good to have this this feature although you can get this feature using third party apps but inbuilt apps are much better than those things so going with other things uh superior setting there are a few more things going on which you can customize as you can see i've customized the clock and the battery so you can do all those things and again you can choose whatever you can recent style and other things whatever you like you can do that and if you go to miscellaneous you can screenshot type and other things also are here and also you can choose volume panel where you want left or right all those things are available and that's all about the like tweaking you are getting with this ROM that's good actually we'll get some tweaking and we can do that and going with the battery I can't really say how the battery is going on with this ROM because the battery on my device is not really good. So, but it is doing pretty well. I hope it will do pretty well because there is nothing much going on with this ROM. It's pure stock ROM. So, I don't think you will have any issue with battery related. Going with the sound, those things are available. No, and also we have like swipe to unlock and other things, password and all those things what we get with the normal ROMs. And going with the other things, there is nothing much going on. And one thing we are missing here is that Google account and other things. 
So this ROM doesn't come with the G apps. So if you really want G apps, you have to flush G apps separately. But I don't really recommend you to flush G apps here. I did try with G apps this ROM. It's pretty slow with G apps. But if you don't flush G apps, you can use this ROM without much issue. But if you flush G apps, uh, this ROM will give you a lot of trouble. Going with the application, as you can see, there is nothing much going on. And the only apps I have installed it may be win maybe the uh, i did not install any application here the browser is also like pre-installed with this rom so that's good usually i use this browser actually almost most of the time on the lower end devices because this is very light browser and there is a camera application here which does work perfectly fine as you can see uh video and like taking pictures all those things work perfectly fine with this camera app which pre which is pre-installed and there is nothing much going on with the application. We get a gallery, and there is no me like a there is a music application here. There is no G apps or anything like that. But all the necessary applications are here. Um, mainly, if you are using this device as a secondary device, I don't think you will have any issue. Like with this ROM, it's working perfectly fine. The sensors are working. The brightness sliders are working, and even hotspot also working. And one more thing is that the notification panel and like a uh, rotation sensor is also working. In Android 9 based ROM, I have faced this issue that then the, like the proximity sensors and brightness sensor are also not working. But in this ROM, everything's are working perfectly fine. And if you really want like like the pure darkness, as it, this one has a like AMOLED panel. So if you want like pure dark black UI, you can do that too. You have to go like. In the display setting, there is option system UI theme. You can put it in the black mode. So it will put it in the black mode. Uh, it will it will give you a little bit uh, a little bit better battery backup. Not much, but as you can see, we got a pure darkness here. So it's working perfectly fine. So most interesting thing of this ROM actually is that we got a like full navigation gesture. That's good actually because I really I'm really like a uh, used to with uh, full screen navigation gesture. So sometimes I miss uh, the back button or other buttons. So in that case, this is actually doing pretty well. And I will put the link link of the ROM in the description below. You can download it from there and flash it. And if you really want GApps, you can flash it too. So but not really recommended. So that's all about Superior Wars for our Samsung S3. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.